whenever you take a stand for things, some people will go to inappropriate measures. And these are things that me or my family will not be intimidated by. A state representative is taking a stand this evening after a disgusting message was sent to his family. Now he is sharing a message of his own. Julie Grant has the story from Beaver County. It was Tuesday morning when PA Representative Aaron Bernstein and his family found a mess right here on their driveway. They tell me there was trash, underwear, even human feces, and he suspects it was politically motivated. He loves his family, his farm, and his guns. Aaron Bernstein makes no bones about it. When he's not in Harrisburg or handling government business back home, on his farm is usually where you'll find him. You can see we have a lot of land out here, so we put a lot of rounds through a lot of firearms. After his driveway was vandalized, Bernstein put out a responsive message, sharing this YouTube video of himself. Practicing tactical firearms training. I don't think there's any secret of my belief in the Second Amendment and the fact that I carry it at all times. The representative understands he could never justifiably shoot someone for vandalism alone. Should someone attempt to do me or my family bodily harm, um, extreme bodily harm, or you're in fear for your life, that we would take matters into our own hands. He wants his message of owning guns and knowing how to use them to serve as a strong deterrent. When somebody comes on your property and puts human feces on your property, that's about as despicable as you can get. Bernstein believes our nation's political climate is making people feel empowered to commit property crimes. I think right now we're in a hyperpolarized political environment. And regardless of where you believe that somebody stands on issues, whether you're a conservative Republican or a liberal Democrat, it's important that we respect people for those views. Bernstein just wants peace here on his farm for his family and all of his animals. He's hoping that by getting his message out there, he won't have any more problems like he did this week. In Beaver County, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.